five o'clock in the morning. Time to go. Okay, Mekong River in its full glory. All the boats out selling their all their goods. And I think people just use this as an excuse to start the day. A nice fresh way. Uh, I thought it'd be busier than this with a lot more boats selling stuff. But it is what it is. It's still beautiful, still lovely. And the day begins on the Mekon River. I'm actually heading for the Chen Hoi Water Market in uh, Tonghao, which is on the uh, Mekon River. A little bit hard remembering all that stuff this time of the morning. But yeah, uh, I'm going to check out the water, uh, water market on the Mekon River. So, really looking forward to this one. So beautiful. Sun coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. I know these people don't make much money, but quality of life, you know, they, they're all happy and enjoying themselves. There's no hustle bustle running around trying to catch a taxi or a train. Take it easy, chill. C'est la vie, as they say. Go with the flow. going to be breakfast. Don't get any fresher than that in the morning. Noodle soup for breakfast. How about that then, eh? All that in the air. Buzzing. Five o'clock in the morning and this place is buzzing. And these people got nothing better to do. <laughs> Only to host in. Wouldn't have it any other way. The good life. Best part of the day this is. It smells so fresh and beautiful. Sun coming up. Well, the sun's up now. The Mekong River. This is actually the 12th biggest river in the world. It's uh, 4,900 kilometers long apparently the best of the information I've got uh, runs through China Vietnam Laos Cambodia and uh, a couple of other places as well as I say this is just information I've picked up but comments below if you know any better I this up, nice and fresh. This lovely lady. The 
And that's going to be breakfast today. So that's breakfast today. I hope they're not going to be sitting around waiting for the bowl because it's going to take me a little while to eat this. So yeah, I'm not going to go into a, oh God, going to go into a rigmarole of what's in here. But I've got some noodles, some liver, um, and it could be anything, some tomatoes, a whole baby lemon, some noodles, some sausage meat. I think that's a bit of pork in there. I'll tell you in a minute when I'll try it. Well, getting stuck into my noodles too. One thing holding the camera and trying to eat. It's another thing being on a boat trying to eat. And it's certainly another thing trying to use chopsticks. That ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be a spoon, I'm afraid. I know it probably breaks tradition, but it's just the way it is. It's mine, I'm paying for it, and I'll eat it how I like. <laughs> as simple as that. Anyway, checking out this soup. Yeah. Fresh, fresh herbs going on in there. Soup, guys. Nice. Feels like there's a little bit of something missing. Not quite sure what it is. But certainly very healthy. And good start to the day. Very similar to a pear. It's actually a bread fruit. Really good. Juicy. Doesn't look very appealing. Looks like something between an apple and an orange, but yeah. Here's one. This is what the pit looks like inside. So there you go. But yeah, delicious bread fruit. Although this market is predominantly on the river with the river boats, there is a little stall here that sells all loads of goodies, noodles, um, uh, yeah, stuff I wouldn't even have a clue what it is. All Vietnamese products. Here we've got some dry fish going on there. Look at that. If you like your dry fish, 
eat as it is or maybe make some soup with. There you have it. You even got shoes here, look. Shoes, little pouches, and bags. Something for the missus. All this kind of stuff. But anyway, apart from that, I am on the Mekong River Market, which is the Chan Hoi to the best of my knowledge, I've been told, the Chan Hoi River Market. Absolutely amazing. And if you want to go to this market, you need to get up early. Because strange as it may, strange as it is, it is literally only open for three hours. Literally from half five in the morning to eight o'clock, eight thirty-ish, and that's it. Finished. So if you haven't got what you need by then, you've kissed it. Some of these little boats have even got musicians on them. So here comes a little boat with his uh, musician on there. Typical as soon as I start filming, they stop playing. Oh, the CB is going to give us a little, give us a little demonstration. How beautiful is that? Well, they've been putting their coffee this morning. I bet they ain't had no noodle soup. Pleasure ride on the Mekong uh, River. Fantastic. Different world, different world altogether, I'll tell you. Just don't get this back in the UK, do you? Don't see this going on all the time. Probably just as well. There's only so much jelly deals you can eat. <laughs> Not often I get up this early. Things I do for you lot. But it's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. I wouldn't have it any other way. And there you have it. Chan Hoi River Market on the Mekong River. Absolutely fantastic. Well worth visit if you can bother to get out of bed that time in the morning. Um, it is only until 8 o'clock, 8.30. So if you do want to come to this river market, you've got to get up early. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. Anyway, Chef's Travels. I'm Kevin Anakin. Thanks very much for watching. And hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.